Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Uh, today we're going to talk about high vision face detection and there's a good reason for that. There is a second generation AccuSense high vision DVR out now. Um, the first version was okay, uh, it was quite a good DVR. But the second generation also allows us to use AOC, which is audio of coax. If you have a look at our previous videos, you will see some of the cameras that are AOC. So this is the second generation version that allows the sound to work down the coax. And of course, it allows face detection to work as well. And the easiest way to identify an AccuSense DVR is by the letters that are in the model number. So, this is a 16-way DVR that I've brought from the office. I brought it home, put it on my 2 million megapixel, 2.8 millimeter audio over coax camera that I have in the garden. I prefer the 2 millions to the 5 million megapixel because they're a much warmer picture. So, here it is. This model would usually be a DS. 7216. 1, 6 of course, meaning 16 inputs. And of course, there's a DS7208, which is an 8-way, DS7204. So, this would be the 16 version. And now, instead of it just being DS, it's an IDS7216. And the I, I presume stands for intelligent or intelligence. Uh, no one's told me any different, but DVR manufacturers just, well, they're just not that creative, to be honest. So I'm assuming it's one or the other. So this is an IDS7216, which is a second generation AccuSense DVR, which also has audio over coax. So face detection. This is my camera in the garden. Let's set it up for you and we'll see if we can trick it because I've certainly not tried this before, not in any great detail. And then, so, right click to bring up the menu, left click on system, over to the left hand side of the screen, left click on event and left click on smart event. So, You've seen these in our videos, hopefully. If you haven't, get them watched, because the good videos, we have a bit of a laugh while we're doing them. Line crossing detection, intrusion detection, audio exception, and sudden scene change are all on the standard HD DVRs anyway, so they're all handy tools to have. This one, of course, has face detection. It's, it's, it's dark at the minute, because we're hovering over it. So... All we need to do is enable it and press apply. It's that easy. Midnight to midnight, Monday to Sunday, all these blocks are all blue, which means continuous. And as you know from our previous videos, if you click none and scroll over these, you can take any of these sections out so it deactivates it. Easy peasy. But today, we want it on continuous. Linkage action, again, very similar to what we've seen before for line crossing and intrusion. Full screen monitoring, audible warning, which is the bleep from the DVR, notify surveillance centre, send email and upload captured image. Obviously, if you've got a uh, cloud or OneDrive or whatever have you, if you set this up, off it goes and it gets saved there. So the DVR, even if it gets stolen, you've still got the image. The only thing that's different, the sensitivity here is one to five. It's set on number three in the middle, which is how it comes from the um, manufacturer themselves, from the factory. And I'm assuming as this goes red, it means it's more sensitive. So four and five is very sensitive. And as it goes from green to blue, two and one is less sensitive. So mess around with it to your heart's content. So the linkage is on. I'll just click audible warning because the dvr is close by i want you to be able to hear the bleep and we know it's activated it's on constantly easy as that it's that simple so left click on live view and then i'll right click on the border to get rid of it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to walk outside and i'm going to stand here 
Now I've measured this out and if I stand there on that particular stone, I'm 3.3 meters away from the camera lens and they say that it will work up to five meters. So I'll walk out now. I'll make it a bit more difficult because I've got my reading glasses on and let's see if it goes off. Listen for the bleep. There we go. Uh, so clearly the glasses don't make any difference to this. Um, I also went out for a drive this morning because it's Sunday and I had to nip out and I had my driving glasses on my sunglasses. So I brought them out of the car to test this. Let's put a pair of sunglasses on and see if that makes any difference. I'm just trying to see if we can trick the deep learning inside the height vision DVR to see if we can confuse it. But We'll give it a go. Well, that's pretty good. That's uh, two out of three. The sunglasses haven't got it. So I've uh, got a little Formula One hat here. Let's see whose name's on it. Oh, Juan Pablo Montoya and who else? So, I'm going to bob the hat on as well. I'm going to keep the dark sunglasses on. Sorry, I'm going to look a bit of a tool today, but let's just see if we can confuse this thing. So, here we go. Obviously not. So, even with sunglasses and the cap on, it still takes pictures. So that's good. Let's have a look at what pictures it's actually taken. So if we right click, instead of going over to systems at the top where we usually go for our events, if you go over, there is smart analysis. And if you left click on there, it brings up this screen. Smart search, face search, which is what we want today human body detection, vehicle search and counting. Human body detection and vehicle search, I'll do some more videos on those because this machine's got deep learning, allowing it to activate face detection on an analog HD camera. It also makes these possible now and far more accurate. So when you've got human body and vehicle search going and you've got a line drawn on the street or on your driveway or coming into your office car park they are far more accurate but today face search so event all which is what we want time segment which is today yesterday two days three days seven or custom you can always alter these of course and if you click on the cameras i'm not sure why these are all ticked really they shouldn't be on there i would have thought it'd been better to have them unticked and then just tick the camera you want, which we'll do today. Face detection, down to the search at the bottom right hand side and click. And there we go. Right, so it's basically, it's got nine segments there. So it's taken three pictures as I walked out with just my reading glasses on. Three pictures, sunglasses, and three pictures with sunglasses and a hat. That's good. That's good. That's extremely good, actually. So we can click onto them. Let's just click on this one here in the middle. And that, of course, shows the little snapshot here. Shows a picture of me. And there's a little VCA screen, uh, the square around it, showing my face. And you've got to fast forward to the next clip. Or you can go to the previous and a play button. So we'll press play. Here we go. Just hear the bleep there because it's close enough to the monitor. That's good. So that's pictures up there. Uh, and of course, you can click on any of these and have exactly the same effect. You can highlight them if you so wish to. And then press export, 
So you'll just bob a, a normal USB drive into the spare USB slot and it'll export them. Or you can select there, which is select all, and press export. Off they go onto a memory stick. You can give that to the police, your next door neighbour, whatever it might be. So that's very, very handy. Now, uh, as you know, with CCTV Systems UK, we call it how we see it. And there are two downfalls to this particular DVR. Number one, you can only have face detection on one camera. Now, this is a 16-way DVR. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's an 8 or a 4-way. You can only have face detection on one camera. And it's not a massive big deal, I don't suppose, but I would have preferred it on, on 4. So obviously, 4 screens on the 4-way DVR for houses um, and small offices, but obviously even the 8-way and the 16-way DVR still to be able to have 4 detect face detection cameras going at once. But... You never know, that might come in time. It clearly uses a lot of the uh, power from the chip inside it, and maybe that's why it's limited to just one camera. Secondly, uh, while you have said camera on face detection, you cannot use your line crossing detection or your intrusion detection, not just on the camera that we've got here, but any of the other cameras. And I'll show that to you, because I think this is worth a quick look. If you right click, again, left click on system, left click on event, and left click on smart event, we've still got face detection activated. This video's running, we've not taken it off. And to make it a fair cop, we'll go up to that camera and change it to number two and press line crossing. Now, even though there's no camera attached to that, I've just got it attached to mine in the garden. If I try and enable it and press apply, it instantly brings up, please turn off the facial detection function of A1. A1 is channel 1, my um, face detection camera, and try again. So clearly, you cannot run line crossing detection or intrusion detection while you've got the face detection running. But it's not all bad. If you go into a normal event... Uh, you've all seen these before, if you've seen motion um, detection activation still to your phone and whatever have you. Um, as you can see, the squares are up here in the garden. I don't have them on the bushes at this side because they're moving around too much. But if I put the linkage on and press audible warning and apply, if I now move outside with my back to the camera so it can't see my face, we'll know if motion detection still works. I imagine it will. As you can see, it does. So, you can only have face detection on one camera. And if you've got that camera activated, you cannot use line crossing or intrusion detection. But then again, do you have to? I don't know. But it was definitely worth mentioning. So, that is the IDS7216 AccuSense DVR on a 2 million megapixel, 2.8 millimeter wide audio over coax camera. And you saw the notifications that came through. Um, it's a handy, handy tool to have. But this DVR does so much more than face detection. I'll get on to the line crossing detection and intrusion detection, which we've covered previously on standard HD DVRs. But these are much more accurate because with the deep learning inside them, which means a smarter chip in layman's terms, it can tell the difference between humans and vehicles, which is going to be very handy if you've got one of these on the front of your driveway or in a car park coming into your industrial estate or your place of work. But we'll get those videos on for you in the next couple of days. So this is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems after a lovely video on high vision face detection. You all have a cracking weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.